This is Top Gamer 007 here, and before we get started the VG Bulletin Mini, the links to all news articles and timestamps is going to be in the description below. And let's get started. There's a lot of news I missed in the last bulletin because the bulletin was too long, 14 minutes. So I'm going to make a mini bulletin. The mini bulletin have less less important news that didn't meet the cut from the last bulletin and some new news. And let's get started with some Sonic Minion news. The Sonic the Hedgehog YouTube page showed a, comp a competition mode that's coming to Sonic Minion. It is kind of similar to the Sonic 2 multiplayer mode. Sega Bits have a press release that Sega gave out to them. These gave out to all the press sites. A good summary, the link is going to be in the description below. Sega has announced a new Sonic Mania feature that many classic fans are sure to love. Competition mode. Players will be able to take on their friends as Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, with the winner determined by different factors, clear time, score, number of items acquired, number of rings acquired when clearing the level, and the total of rings acquired throughout the level. Rules can be adjusted via changing the available items and in the item boxes and the number of rounds. Sega also revealed how big Sonic Mania is going to be. It's a whopping 186 megabytes, yes, I said megabytes, of free space. Today, the Sonic the Hedgehog YouTube released a new Sonic Mania OS called the Mini Boss Theme. You guys need to listen. Sonic Mania OS is going to be in the description below, so listen to it. These, these three pieces of news gave me another reason to buy the game day one, even if I was going to buy it day one anyway on Switch and PC. Just in case, PC, just in case the community release mods on Sonic Media. I cannot wait until, until August 15th. So let's move on to some Nintendo 3DS kind of news, 3DS news. Yesterday, it was a lot of Metroid Samus Return news, and many YouTubers went to an event to play Metroid Samus Returns for the 3DS. And yesterday at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, they released all these new details. Until they announced Samus Return new 3DS that released at the same time as Metroid Samus Return on September 15th. This edition of the new 3DS won't come with Samus Return and will cost $200. Let's move on to the last news article. ARMS next update will feature a new character. Then the Japanese ARMS Twitter account has teased a new character that will be available in the next update. And new ARMS will be included as well. It is possible, you have to be honest, like, it's possible one of these characters, these new characters, was one of these characters um, leaked the other day. The other day, um, all these characters that was data mined and arms was leaked like five new characters and it could be one of these new characters or it's like a brand new character that's not part of this update like like coil and all of that stuff that was a new thing the list the list of all the, the leaked characters is going to be on screen right now to show you all the names all we could do is wait and see the update should release in the coming weeks so yes, it's about time to end my video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want videos like this one. This is Talking with Level 7, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.